go over a little bit about um, kind of tracing two objects of each other and then filling in the areas um, so that it flips from the black to the white um, when you're filling in the shapes of your drawing. So I've got some tracings here um, on that side. And I'll just put this in the middle here somewhere. Oh, maybe at an angle. And if you don't have tracing paper, you can use the window or if you have a glass coffee table or something like that, glass table. Um, all right, so now I can see the other one behind it, and you're like, what's an interesting, how do we, how could this be interesting? Um, maybe I want to go this way. Maybe I want it to go, oh, come on. Anyway, you guys will come up with, and I could repeat them too. You can play with that. Um, So now I've got this thing. Sorry, it's my noise. Then I want to decide where I'm going to start with this. Is this going to be? I mean, I could have this whole out, outside be all um, black too, and you could use marker or you could use um, the cut um, paper and glue that down. Um, but anyway, I'm going to look at this and say, well, I want this section um, to be the black of the marker. So I'm going to make just. I could just put a little X or something like that. Um, but I want to make sure I can see where that goes. So then this, now I see, you know, we get it run into issues where this might be white and this might need to be white too. So I might need to make a decision about this shape here. I might add in a line. So then that would be left the white. This would be um, black again. This would be white. This would be black. This would be white. This, luckily, that matched up. So if I had if this was white over here and this had to be, it would all get blended together. So I'm kind of making some decisions. And I would also kind of utilize this outline. So if I didn't like just that line there, I could even be a little bit, you know, reinterpret this a little bit more too. I get kind of. Add a little lip down here to give it something. I don't know if that's anything much more interesting. So then I can come in, and like I said, you could use the paper, the cut paper as well, and kind of, once you've made all your decisions, Maybe you have any pencil lines, can erase. Um, but yours is going to be a little bit more complex and interesting. Um, so think about how you can, what happens, especially right now, the only thing that's really interesting is happening. Okay, not really interesting, but happening here where they run into each other. All right. So there's sort of a flipped and a translucency that can happen as well. And if you were doing something you know, more complex with little tight areas, it can get very tricky flipping back and forth. So take your time. Try it a couple of times um, just on the trace paper. Look at it and see what you'll come up with. All right. Take care.